Kent's army cadets have packed up their kit and debunked to the army's SAS training ground in Wales for their annual summer camp. The 12 to 18 year olds will be spending the next two weeks in the unpredictable Welsh weather, learning survival skills at Ministry of Defence sites scattered across the Brecon Beacons. At the moment, if you look, everyone else has got a dip. It's like this way, you've got a slope. And then all you do is pull these ones outwards. Yeah, get me? Yeah. And it'll tighten it all up. So if it does rain, all the water's just going to flow off. You're not going to get puddles like this at the moment. The cadets are not classed as part of the British Armed Forces, but former cadet Brigadier Ian James is now head of the 2 South East Brigade. Well, as a regular soldier, um, the Army cadets are an MOD-sponsored youth organisation, so they are providing uh, the usual range of sort of youth development activities, but they're doing it in the context of, uh, of, an, of an Army environment. Um, so it's not a recruiting organisation, per se, um, but clearly uh, if you have an organisation where um, the cadets are doing things around the army, we are encouraging an interest uh, in the armed forces as well as uh, developing them as individuals. When cadets reach 18, many become adult instructors for the youth organisation, although some do choose to join the armed forces. Um, you will see during the annual camp here the full range of activities that they will do. Some of it um, would appear to be um, conventional military training, but I think what they're getting from that um, is personal development, team building, leadership and so on. Um, but also they'll do um, a range of uh, adventurous training and other sorts of activities. So it's a, quite a, you know, it's a huge range of things. Teenagers can join the Army cadets at any age, with a proficiency grade from one star up to four. Many of them are looking to pass exercises and work their way up the ranks whilst on camp. This is what you will fight at one star level all the way through your cadet career. Okay? The higher you get up, the bigger, better weapons that you actually play with. Remove the ponchos from the weapons! Adjust your position. 100. Safe to catch. Cock the weapon. 10 rounds. And a targeted thrust. In your own time. Go on. A lot of these children are only 12, 13, and it's the first time they've been away on camp and it's their first night out, actually out under the stars. As you can see, we've, we've put the, uh, the, the, the bashers out, which is a waterproof sheet, which they sleep under tonight, with their uh, sleeping bags, and uh, they will do their own cooking, and, uh, and they will look after themselves basically throughout the night, and tomorrow we shall be moving, walking to a, uh, a different area where they'll be setting up again and doing the same thing tomorrow. What are you sort of looking forward to the most? The field craft mainly. Why is that? Just because you get to sleep out, somewhere different to do. It's better than just hanging around the street corners, doing nothing. Back at base, the cadets practice their drill. The more experienced cadets are able to pass on their skills. Emily's the only cadet in Kent qualified to teach basic radio users. Your earpiece, your throat mic, which goes around your throat, and your pressel switch. Okay, so that just clicks onto your kit, and you push the button in to talk. Um, they'll be able to um, set the radio up that I'm teaching them today, and be able to make sure that it's working correctly and um, they'll be taught basic voice procedure, which means when they're out on the area doing a detachment exercise or company exercise, they'll be able to communicate via their radio so they'll know how to use it properly. Well, I think the two weeks is a chance to get away from everything that's going on at home and it gives you um, a lot more independence, like I said, and you 
do stuff that you enjoy for two weeks instead of like because it's summer holiday so you don't really do a lot so it gives you something to do and it gives you a lot more self-discipline as well where you're having to make sure your room's tidy and make sure you're up in time so it's all on your own back really so for the 400 cadets a chance to develop and bring back their newfound confidence to Kent.